<laughs> oh man, are you okay? Jeez, that was a close one. Good thing you were wearing your hard hat. Anyway, where was I in that last video? Oh yeah, I was about to talk about the importance of safety glasses. The law says you need to wear safety glasses wherever there is a hazard of flying debris, and you need to wear them over your eyes. They may look cool perched on top of your head, but that's not what they are for. Outside of the pirate community, eye patches have never really caught on as fashion statements. Even drivers need to use safety glasses. Take a look at this picture. A driver at a scrap company was opening a roll-off container door when the handle snapped down and smacked him in the face. He was wearing his safety glasses. And you know what? That probably saved his eyesight. Safety glasses should be cleaned and inspected every day, just like your hard hat. If they get scratched up, replace them. And if you wear prescription glasses, remember, you still need to have side shields, so overglasses are required. Or better yet, get yourself a pair of real prescription safety glasses like these. And while we're protecting your head and face, we should talk about hearing protection too. Depending on your yard or your customer's yard, the noise levels might be high enough where noise protection is necessary. Your company might have earplugs or earmuffs for you to use, and it's important to understand how to use them. Hearing loss is permanent, so using your plugs or muffs where there's a lot of noise is really important. I always take a pair along when we visit the mother-in-law. There's a follow-up video coming on hearing protection, so make sure you watch that one too, and I hope you can hear it. Uh, and let's not forget the importance of this reflective vest. For guys with a <clears throat> petite figure, small profile like me, you gotta make sure that you stand out like a sore thumb in the scrapyard, on the road, or in customer sites. Without a high visibility garment, equipment operators and drivers may not be able to see you when you walk around the yard. You need to try to keep it clean too, so washing it once in a while wouldn't hurt. When working in a place like this with a lot of slip, trip, and fall hazards, or falling material hazards, we need to protect our footsies. Steel-toed shoes are absolutely required. Boots are even better because they offer additional ankle protection. And steel shanks protect the soles of your feet from penetration hazards. They have to have a non-slip sole too, so oil and grease and whatnot won't be a slipping hazard. In some yards, these things called metatarsal protectors are also required. I like the sound they make when they flap sort of like a flamenco dancer. <laughs> and one last thing, in our yard, we're not allowed to wear shorts. It's long pants and long sleeve shirts too. We have to be careful about protecting our skin. So leave the Speedo at home. So that's about it. Personal protective equipment, a part of your work uniform every day. And as I always say, work safely or not at all. There's a train coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's a train about to get Cut.